Okay, this question here, it's a geometric series. They even tell you it's a geometric series, and you're looking at the first term. A is 8x squared. Now, if you want to find R in a geometric series, all you do is take two consecutive terms and divide. Well, 2 divided by 4 is a half. And x to the fourth divided by x cubed is just x. So it's a half x, or x over 2. That's what r is, x over 2. What half x? Well, the nth term, there's a formula for the nth term of a geometric series. It's called a equal, um, the, the term tn equals a times r to the n minus 1. So all you do, r is x over 2. The first term is 8x squared. So tn equals a times r to the n minus 1. Well, that's your answer. I guess you should fix this up a little bit. It should be 4. It actually, you can leave it like that. If you fix it up or reduce it, there's nothing wrong. In fact, that's the answer from the memo. You can leave it like that. You could reduce this and do some different things with it. But um, anyways, but you don't have to. I mean, that's the answer. For which values of x does this series converge? Well, there's a formula for convergence of an infinite geometric series. It tells you it only happens when r is in between 1 and minus 1. Well, there's r. So all you do is you take r and make it less than 1 or greater than minus 1, and they give you a mark. Now multiply everything by 2 here, and you get your answer. When x is smaller than 2 or greater than minus 2, that's when the series will converge. And the easiest question of all, the sum to infinity, all you do is write down the formula for the sum to infinity. There it is. a over 1 minus r. Well, a is 8x squared. You've got 1 minus x over 2. But it says calculate the sum of the series to infinity if x is 3 over 2. So instead of x, put in 3 over 2. Well, heck, you can put this in your calculator, actually. And what you're going to get when you put this in your calculator, that's 9 over 4 and 8 times 9 over 4. Things um, cancel. You can do all the fraction work. But if you put this into your calculator, your calculator will tell you that the answer is 72. You go ahead and try it. Maybe if you're pretty good at fractions, you know that this is 1 minus 3 quarters. 1 minus 3 quarters is 1 quarter, and you tip in time, so you're actually multiplying whatever this is by 4. And anyways, you'll get 72 when you're finished. And there you go.